You can always count on them, no matter where you're at in the country. Good old BPS, Bass Pro Shops. Of course, last minute, always need something. That's just a, that's just part of tournament bass fishing. You always forget something, you always need something. But Bass Pro Shops is there to save the day, no matter where you're at. So here we are, uh, this is Prattville, Alabama, about 25 minutes from my house. Actually pretty close, but I need to grab some swim baits. And so, in Bass Pro Shop we go. I'm pretty sure they're gonna have them. I hope they got them. They do a pretty good job staying stocked up on stuff, so we're gonna see. Looking for some Kitex, some little 2.8s. Don't tell nobody though, a couple little ones right here. Hey, if you got somebody that wanna be on YouTube, do that dance again. A little, little, get it, get it, get it. Go. Yeah. Hey, good luck. Never, thank you, sir. I appreciate you. You never know what you're gonna see at Bass Pro Shop. That's why you come right there. <laughs> and that's gonna be the star of the show right there. Hey, go to my YouTube channel, Mark Daniels Jr. All right. Yes, sir. You'll see it. I'll find right. you, Mark. Got you a stick? You Got fishing? you. What's that? You fishman? Yes, sir. Let me know if you need some help. Okay. Hey, we always need some help. Good luck. Yes, you sir. You too. That's what's up, bro. <laughs> hey, you, hey, look, when you come around outdoorsmen, it's rare you meet a knucklehead outdoorsman. I ain't saying we ain't got some. We got some. But it's rare. Shout out to my man. I didn't catch his name, but he did the little wiggly worm <laughs> dance. The wiggler. I'm gonna call that the wiggler for all my brim fishermen out there. Y'all know. <laughs> and they got him. Bop. That looks good too. Me and all of them. I'm gonna get all of them. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get all these. <coughs> Dang. The thing with these right here. Shout out to Kitech, but they're not greatly durable. So every time you get a bite on one, you need a new one. So you got to consider practice and the derb. You get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight in a pack. Bro, you get on a little flurry, you'll run through these. And there ain't nothing like being out there on tournament day and you run out of the baits you need. Yeah, yeah. I ain't trying to be that guy. This lake got him too, huh? Oh, yeah. From what I hear, Odell Holler got him. I've been there once and uh, I went there, me and J-Dub. But then we got distracted. We started catching slab crappie, literally the biggest crappie you've ever seen. And uh, matter of fact, we caught them on, on, on Kitex then, 2.8. But, you know, what in the world is that? Oh, I'm like, bro, I thought that was part of the, look at this. I'm looking at that, a, a and new, I'm like. A new bait? Yeah, a new jerk bait. What the hell is that? <laughs> no, making sure y'all keep y'all's hands where they need to be. Let me, put your hands where I can see them. <laughs> hey, put your hands where I can see them. That's what that is. Y'all don't be stealing these IU. But well, why is it just that one? That's what I, that's, oh no, there's another one there. A couple of them there. I guess they put them on like the hottest colors or something. I don't know. I don't know. Let me put him back. Fooling with him, I'll mess around and get arrested. Hey, you see it? You see it? We, we in the building. Y'all make sure y'all grab y'all some MR6s now. Be sure of that. We got them. What's them? Oh, we got them. Let me show you. Them cantaloupe. We got them lopes. Them cantaloupe. Hey, if y'all watch the blogs, y'all know what's up. This is why I always stop at Love's. Shout out Love's. The only gas station that a semi give you something reasonably to eat without killing yourself. Now, I got me something to kill myself too. But... I try to I try to be good, but we it balances out, balance right? It, bro. You know, hey, hey, them, <laughs> them peanut butter M and M's, they hit hard. Hey, hey, they hit hard. Mack truck hard. My boy. Oh, you. peanut butter M and M's, not peanut. peanut oh yeah, M &Ms. peanut butter. Peanut M and M's hit hard too. They do. My wife like them. I ain't. I, that ain't my first. That ain't my go to. I rock with them, but they're my go-to. The peanut butter, though, that's my go-to. I love them. They so good. 
So we had a little bit of a little bit of a hiatus since the last dirt. Um, a little bit going on. Of course, fish red crabs sucked. That's part of it. Well, my boy got it done, so shout out my boy DC, man. I was really happy to see my boy pull it off on his home pond, man. That was cool. Um, but we just been chilling, man. We worked the Bassmasters Classic for my sponsors. And that was cool. A lot of seen a lot of folks at the expo there. It's always good, man, to see see you all. A lot a lot of you guys that watch the videos, man. I see y'all at the Red Crest Expo and at the Classic Expo, man. And that, that's one of the best feelings, man, because what y'all don't know. It's a lot of work to do all this YouTube content. Colin, who's behind the camera, y'all don't ever get to see him much. He works his off, man. Which I have to work my ass off to make sure that the content's getting created too. So it's it's a it's a it's a partnership there, man. But a lot of effort goes into it. So to know that you guys watch and you guys comment and y'all actually appreciate the videos, man. I, I met so many y'all over the last couple expos at the big events man so shout out to you guys the fans definitely appreciate that man but uh sliding on up man we, we headed to my boy j-dub's house right now then del hollow tomorrow man I, I don't know what to expect i've never been here before but it's a phenomenal fishery from everyone that i've talked to i mean it's phenomenal smallmouth largemouth both and i just i don't know what's what's gonna go down but i can tell you one thing for no. sure let me tell you something for sure. You know what's gonna go down. Let <laughs> me tell you for sure. Red Crest was the final straw for your boy. Me. It's the final straw. <laughs> hey, the final countdown. I forget what song that is, but that's a, hey, y'all let me know what song that is. I don't know, but I heard it before. <laughs> anyway, hey, Red, it's over for me. I am now a scoper. A million per, listen. I grew up on the California Delta, y'all know this. I love to flip. I love to shallow fish. I like to throw it wacky. I love my methylate float worm. I like I like all these things. It's over with, bro. I'm about to put seven live deucers on my boat. I'm gonna turn into uh what's my boy uh Fujita. <laughs> I'm turning, I'm turning in, I'm about to morph into Fujita, bro. <laughs> I'm getting me a NT, NKB, NTB, NKG. Y'all know what I'm talking about. That big grab, the big dummy TV screen, the football Super Bowl screen. It's like 22, 24 inches, something like the that. The battleship, they call it. <laughs> hey, I'm going to turn my boat into the battleship this week at Del Hollow. <laughs> when y'all see me whooping the Bill Lewis boat going out of my that's the damn battleship. Yes, sir, it is. You know why? Times have changed, man. And if you don't change with them, you get rolled over. And and I'ma say this on my channel. I ain't gonna I ain't gonna put none of my homies in this. I don't need their comments. None of that. My opinion of forward facing sonar has changed. It has. I'm gonna do a whole nother video for y'all on that alone. When it first came out and everybody was crying about it, I'm like, shut up. Quit crying. Get out there. Learn the technology. Get better. That's always been my philosophy with bass fishing. Nobody cares, bro. Get better. Right? I, I sucked at Red Crest. So, don't nobody care. Get better. Bounce back at Del Hollow the next one. That's the only thing that matters is getting better. And that includes learning technology. With that being said, I got a, I got a new outlook. That's a, that's a story for another day. Right now, we're going to J-Dubs tonight. I think we're going to go to... Listen, there's a restaurant in Chattanooga, Tennessee. I've been several times because I'm always at my boy Jacob's house. Him and his wife love. And they took me there. And when I say top tier, it's one of the best... Bro, I travel all over the United States. I'm everywhere like the air. And we go everywhere. And this place is... What did you say it was called? Aaliyah. Aaliyah. It's called Aaliyah. And those of you that have been there to Aaliyah, you live in the Chattanooga area, y'all know what I'm talking about. Yeah, it's a damn, damn, damn good restaurant. It's a it's a five-star on food. It, it, I mean, it's a five-star ambiance, and, you know, you get all into them categories. I ain't, I'm, 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 here for the, I'm here for the nuggets, man. I'm here for the, for the vittles. I'm here for the snacks, right? They snacks... 
They top tier, bro. They top tier. So we may go there tonight. I'll give y'all a little clip of that maybe if we do go. But right now we're just trying to make it up to my boy J-Dub's house. Got about two hours to go. I took the, I pulled my map up today and it gave me the option. The fastest route was through Atlanta, right? And I love Atlanta. I love the A. Shout out to the A, man. All my boys out there in Atlanta. That is not the fastest That's route. That's not where you want to drive, bro. <laughs> I love the A. But you the closest thing to San Francisco Bay Area that I've experienced since I left, bro. The traffic is world renowned <laughs> in Atlanta. It's unbelievable. I, I, bro, it's, uh, it don't, look, you come through Atlanta, 337 in the morning. You like, oh hell yeah, it's 337. Ain't nobody around. Whoopty -whoop, I'm good. The whole entire city under construction. And you in traffic. You come through at nine o'clock in the morning. The whole city is lit. Everybody going to work. You can't come through Atlanta at no time. It's something going down. Always, bro. But I love Atlanta, though. Me and my wife spent a lot of time there in the downtime. They got a lot of dope places to be, hang out. The nightlife's dope. I, I, I rock with Atlanta, but you got to be in Atlanta to rock with it. You can't be trying to drive into Atlanta because then you hate Atlanta. But once you get there, it's like Disneyland, bro. It's a good place to be. All right, enough about Atlanta. Uh oh, okay, I ain't missed my turn. I get to talking to y'all and I, and, I, and I stop looking at that GPS and I damn near be in the woods somewhere. <laughs> but we ain't gonna do that. Welcome to Lake Chickamauga. My cost is your cost. What, what's it like? What is this? My cost too, cause I saw through. I was thinking I was gonna say, but I didn't know. <laughs> hey, we here. We didn't rolled up to Wheeler Estates. We on the pond. We we, we at the pond and on the pond at the yeah, same time. It's actually true. Yeah, so we just rolled up. Got the rigs. I just parked. got this black top in. I see. Hey, I seen the signs out there. Got it all black topped out. Hey, nice, brother. I'm getting there. I gotta, Last I time I was here, it was all gravel. You know. Yeah. Got it black topped up. I'm, it trying, I'm trying to step my game up. Like, it's, it's looking I good, concrete bro. good over here, but I'm black top good. Well, when you got a four mile driveway, it's kind of hard to. Well, I'm gonna get that whole thing black top, but that's not like all mine. Oh, really? Oh, so how's that work? So it's like you split it three ways. Oh, okay. Nice. Yeah. Are they in on it? Oh well, I gotta get the other one in. I don't know. I hope. I hope so. I hope so. <laughs> It's got a great night's sleep at my boy J-Dub's place here in Tennessee, literally on Chickamauga. Tempted to launch the old Ranger right here and go and go farther around on Chick. Chick's a great lake, but uh, we're gonna get a little bit closer to Dale and try to get a gauge for what those fish in that zone are doing. So never have I been to Lake Center Hill, it's called. Um, we're gonna slide over there and, and, and launch and, and just run around, man, try to do a maybe a little breakdown video for you guys, how we, how we break down lakes and just poke around and see what's up, catch a couple maybe, I don't know. You guys will see that probably before you see this, but uh, we're gonna pack things up. We got uh, we got J Dub's little boy out here, Hudson. He's 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 definitely ready to roll. He got he got his fishing boots on, his rod. Hey, it's cool, man. Come here, man. I, I miss mine's being that size, but uh, it's gonna be a great day, man. So looking forward to it. Um, we're gonna have a good time, man. It's gonna drop this Ranger in, like I said. We're gonna go over to Center Hill. I think they got largemouth and smallmouth, J Dub. Oh, they got them both. They got them both. Spots, oh, got too. spots too. Yeah, this right here, he's, he's hey, ready to hey, go. He's, he's, he's doing the top baits of the month. He's gonna fish a tournament for me this week. He's ready to go. What are we gonna throw, Hudson? Huh? What are we gonna try to get? Fishies? Hey, rod selection is on point, bruh. Well, he had to grab that one. I broke that one in half when I was pulling out the rod box and then cut out. So hey, I said, man, this is his. Yeah. He done broke a few rods from me. Now, listen, that's something right there. He'll grab a rod and start dragging on the <laughs> ring. Hey. Breaking tips, breaking in half, yeah. everything. Isn't that right, Hudson? Hey, tell him, I, I know a guy where I might can get another one. I got a vibe I can get another one. Yeah, but, but no still, doubt. I mean, you got, don't be wasteful. I got to teach him young. That's it, brother. That's right. Uh, yeah, man, that's awesome, I man. I three hats on, too. I forgot I had these. I literally put two hats. Hey, you don't that double I, up, baby. Well, I was, trying to, I was trying to grab some stuff, so I was like, man, I got, hey. You, got, man, you, you want this got hat? You want to swap it out? Yeah, hey, what you want to do? You, you're ready to roll, just like hey, that. That's one thing. Us anglers got like you look at the back of my truck right now. Oh, I'm about to show them. Wild, I got hella hats Wild. just because you need a lot of hats, bro. We wear a lot of hats, but because 
you know, you got this partner, that partner, you gotta always be ready to get down. So in the back of my truck, right here, got my little clothes and all that. I got hats. For days. For days, for all the occasions, whatever I need. Bop, 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 bop. I got it covered, man, so you gotta have that. We say hat it up. All right, we about to ride, got about a two hours of slide from J-Dubs over here to uh, Center Hill. Only get a couple hours because it's already, it's, it's not, it's still early kind of morning, about eight o'clock or so. Yeah, we'll be good, but uh, it's gonna be a good day. Y'all come on. It's question time. So shout out to everybody that follows me on Instagram. I appreciate every one of you. And uh, you know, something that we've been doing in travel vlog, I prompt you guys a question or, or I prompt you guys to ask me questions and then I'll answer them in a the travel vlog. So shout out to everybody that sent in questions. We got hell of them. We got a lot. We got a lot. So thank you guys. But we're only gonna pick like ten maybe. So here's the questions and we're gonna answer them. What we got, Colin? So the first one, Trevor Schneider fishing. Alright. FFS or old school this week? Oh, for Del Hollow? Yeah, for Del Hollow. So so Trevor wants to know is it gonna be four faces sonar or is it gonna be old school? Or I don't know if he's asking that or if what I'm gonna do. Yeah, I think I, he's. I, I'm gonna I'm I'm answer it two part. I think the vast majority of the field are gonna catch them on four phase sonar. Like, the vast majority. I'm gonna practice looking for four face and sonar fish really hard. Um, if that doesn't pan, then I'm gonna go fish old school. But I already know this particular fishery. I've never fished tournament here, I've only ever been here once, and I was crappie fishing. But this is a forward facing sonar's fisherman's dream right here. So all the guys that are really good with forward facing sonar will likely do well this week. Um, and I'm and I'm gonna be one of them. So right on. Thanks for that question. All right, next one. Uh, the Nico Texas most frustrating part of tournament fishing. Oh man, that's a good question. The most frustrating part. That's a good question. I, I mean. Those that follow me hardcore, you guys know, um, man, you never know what these wild creatures are gonna do, man. You think you can predict them, you think you got it figured out, and they just flipped a switch on you, man. That happened to me at Redcrest. That happened to me at Del or at um, uh, Lake Murray. That happened to me, I mean, it's happened to me so many times over the course of my career, I can't even keep up with it. And all you have to base upon is what you saw in practice. And them suckers were there and they were biting. And you didn't even hook them. Hooks rolled in, all that good stuff. They just, poof, they vanish. That's probably one of the most frustrating parts of tournament fishing. Is thinking you got something figured out and then rolling up and they gone. Nah, that's tough. Poof, that's what you're saying. Poof, yeah. Casper, the friendly ghost. Poof. All right, the next one. Uh, Subo fishing. Right. The people want to know where you get that clean edge up. Uh, hey. Hey, we put it in the video. We last definitely year. put it in the video. Shout out my boy City Red, man. Um, if y'all ever make it to Tuskegee, Alabama, y'all look my boy up, City Red, man. He has a barbershop there. He's been cutting me up for a long time, man. And uh, he gets me right. I don't even think my hair's brushed at the moment, but, but we decent anyways. But he always gets me right, man. So when I hit the tournament road, I got a nice, fresh, crispy send me off man so shout out to him <clears throat> all right this is actually probably my favorite but bassin with bennett all right if you could fish with somebody that isn't a pro angler who would it be and why oh, that's a deep question yeah. that isn't a pro angler yeah so like <clears throat> like somebody that's out here competing no i, I think i think you know, like celebrity or like you know, pro some, or i mean somebody, like like, like, you know, like like bill dance would that count as like a pro angler? I mean, I'd love to fish with Bill Dance. I ain't gonna lie. Like, who wouldn't, right? Yeah. Bill Dance is, when you think of bass fishing, Bill Dance is like at the forefront of your brain. And I don't know what's going on here, but we had a complete stop on this road behind a truck on the hill. But, uh, man, I'm gonna pick Bill Dance. But if we're gonna get out of the fishing realm and then I just gotta pick somebody, man, I... I Freak, I don't, I don't know, dude. That's a tough one. Uh, it's not a professional. Man, I'm going to say my mom. Shout out to my mama, man. I love my mom. Man. You ever been fishing with her? Oh, yeah. Mom's, man, my mom used to love to fish, bro. And uh, 
and and she would take me when my dad couldn't. And so mom's played a huge role in what I do. And she loves to get out and fish. My mom's now 73 years old, and I haven't been fishing with my mom in probably, it's been a long time. I'm gonna say like six or seven years. And so low key, when I get home this fall, I need to put that on the agenda, take mom Dukes fishing. So y'all look for that. I'm gonna have moms out there. Heck yeah. All right, uh, this is from Lan Kruther. Okay. What, is, what state is the best state to live in for quality overall bass fishing? I'm gonna get some, I'm gonna get some flack for this. I'm gonna get some hate for this, but I'm gonna go and say it. I'm gonna go and say it. New York, bruh. Oh, that's not what I was thinking. What you thought? I, was I thought you were Cali. Cali. Nah, I'm gonna say New York. I'm gonna say, hey, New York is off the chain, bro. The Finger Lakes, St. Lawrence River, Lake Ontario, uh, Champlain, like, them places are unbelievable fisheries. Now, granted, you can't even make a cast until June 15th. But from June 15th to when they get ice, which I don't even know where that is, maybe November-ish, it is unbelievable, man. And so, like, I don't know. That's why I have to pick New York, man. It's New York's just too good, man. It's, it's awesome. So... I'm going to pick New York. Cali would be a, a, a close second, of course, but I'm, I'm going to say New York. All right. This is from Hook a Brother Up. Hook a Brother Up. I like this. I'm Does your cameraman up. get to fish a little bit? Man, hey, Colin. A lot of people don't even know, like, the actual rule. Oh, you, he, oh, Colin don't get to fish at all while we're out here practicing and doing all that. Whenever you all see him on the boat with me, he can't touch a rod, look at a rod, none of that. But there are times when we, like last year, there was only one time last year, really. No, two times. You fished a little bit off the bank with us in Michigan. And then, yeah, New York. And then in New York. Yeah. But those are on non-tournament bodies of water, and it's us getting to the uh, to the area or the location where we're going to stay like a couple days early, and we got time to film or something like that, and then he'll pick up a rod and cast. But Colin's hard at work, man. He's a workaholic, man. I ain't gonna lie. Colin, man, he hey, he puts that camera up, gets his footage, and he's right to the computer. editing it, man. Getting it, getting it done. So shout out, shout out, Colin, man. He's yeah. a hell of a camera guy, but he like to fish too, now. Yeah. All right, uh, Knox hit favorite lake you have fished on the BPT, and your least favorite that you fished on the BPT. Oh man, more tough questions. Favorite lake on the BPT. I'm going to say my favorite lake on the BPT was probably when we went to North Carolina and fished Jordan Falls and Sharon Harris. And then I'm going to pick Jordan Lake. Uh, it treated me right. I had a horrible practice there, though. And then fish just having to slide up during the tournament. And not only myself, but the whole field absolutely demolished them there. And, it, and I called them my favorite way to catch bass, and that's flipping. And anymore, of course, with the technology and, and all of that, we just don't get to do a lot of that. And that was a tournament where you better had had a flipping stick in your hand or you weren't catching them. And so that's going to probably be my favorite. There's, I'm probably forgetting something or leaving something out, but that was a really good one. Um, and then least favorite, man, that's, that's tough, dude. I can't, I'm trying to think. Which, which lake did you the most dirty? Lake Murray? <laughs> I know. I can't even, Lake Murray's world class though. I can't yeah, even, it's such a good I, lake. I had a freaking terrible week that week. I, I mean, I don't know. Let's see. Least favorite. Mm. We've been so many places over the years or maybe like what about the just like the hardest one that you just never like to figure out if that's what makes it any easier hell no it doesn't i gotta think on that man i don't know dude all right that's a that's a tough one dang I don't, I, I don't i don't answer that i have to sit back and go through all the places we've been honestly winnebago was kind of goofy we went there a few years back, but that, but but that's actually a dope place when you figure it out. In but two it, miles, it was turn a little right rough. Cox Valley Road. To begin with, uh, 
don't really know. Man, I don't know, I mean, bro. Honestly, all the lakes y'all go to are really are like world class. A lot of them are good. Yeah. And it's just a matter if you figured them out that week or not, you know. And so it ain't like, man, this lake sucks, you know. Yeah. Uh, I mean, yeah. I... Kind of stumped. I'm stumped on that one, dude. I, I mean, cause I, cause I embrace the good with the bad, bro. So like, we'll go to a place that's tough. For example, we went to Watts Bar one year. Tough place, bro. Not easy whatsoever. It, at least that year it was not easy. But I figured a little something out, and it went a long ways. And so could I say that lake sucks? In a sense, I could, but at the same time, I like tough, tougher tournaments as a whole. So I can't even put that in a least favorite. But, yeah, man, there's, there's several of them. I just have to dig through the, the list and figure it out. All right, KL Fishing. What's the fastest speed you've driven in your Ranger? And so, I want you to also explain the difference between this year and last year. Too. Yeah. I might not know. So so this year I'm running a 21. Very nice boat. It's a freaking battleship, right? Big boat. Handles rough water great. Ranger's never been noted to be a fast running boat. So a 21-footer is even slower than what I've traditionally ran. So my whole career I've ran a 20, which is 20 foot 11 inches, mind you. Basically a 21-footer. This year I'm running a 21, which is 21 and a half foot. And it's, believe it or not, it's a lot more fiberglass. It's a, it's a, it's a bigger boat, obviously. But it's a slower boat too. So this year, the fastest I've gotten my boat up to is 69 mile an hour. Um, but last year boat absolutely ran, 72. 72, even up to 73, right at 73. 72, eight, something like that. And so for Rangers, that's smoking. So I was really happy with that. Uh, but this year we're rocking the battleship, so 69 mile an hour as fast as I've got. All right, and the last one, Tim McIntyre. I think he had a question last time, too. All right, but shout out Tim. Thoughts on the new Touring Anglers Association tournament that they just had? Yeah, yeah, that's a good question. I, I just saw that. Uh, had a few of our guys fish, Andy, Littner. Um, I'm sure there's others that I missed, but uh, Watson was out there. <laughs> uh I'm sure there's others that I missed, but um, that, that's a cool that's a cool tournament, man. I, I like the idea of it. Now, what I dislike is just one event. They, Turn right they just, the Cox Valley you know, Road. you just pop up and just have that one event. If they were to actually put together a tour that did not conflict with the Bassmaster Elite Series or, oh crap. We had to make a quick turn, y'all. Hang tight. In if they were to make a miles, tour take a out of that right deal. Turn onto US 70. That didn't conflict with the other major touring uh, leagues. I'd 100% fish it. I like the idea of it. I like no practice. I like uh, no waypoints, no fair, no forward facing sonar. I'm all about that. But for me to go jackpot a tournament for 5K and fish against hella locals that is just open to anybody, I'm not gonna do that. Me personally, that's just not a smart uh, investment for me. I'm not scared or any of that. And I could take L's with the best of them. But if you make guys commit to a season, four or five tournaments, right, to where, okay, they're all in for the whole year, uh, maybe even add a form of a championship into that, I 1 million percent would put my money in the hat and fish that whole entire tour, no practice, um, show up and fish, which decreases the time that we have to be at a place, which is huge, right? So you roll up, now you're at a place for four days as opposed to six, seven, eight, nine, day, however, you know? And so I, I actually like it. And it's old school five fish. Bag them up. Hey, I'm all about it, man. That's it. Yep. That's all we got? That's it. Damn. I know there was hell of you guys that submitted questions. I mean, I was getting the notifications left and right. And so I appreciate you guys. And, and if we didn't get you, I apologize. But thank you for participating. Matt Lee had a question on there that I can't, I can't read, y'all. It was too hard for the radio, so to speak. But shout out my boy Matt, man. Thank you for the submission, bro. <laughs> I appreciate that. And Dustin, too. And DC had one, too. As, oh, DC, I can tell y'all. How many times do I use the bathroom a day? Now, y'all don't know how my boy DC really, really gets down in real life. That dude literally used the bathroom probably four. I'm talking about number twos, not number ones. Number threes. <laughs> he dropping threes. I'm going to say minimal three, sometimes four times a day. It's unbelievable. And then he still be dropping numbers. I'm like, bro, how did you 
catch that many bass and use the bathroom four times in one day. Somehow he does it, man. I don't know. My boy's a magician. But anyways, thank 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 you everybody that submitted questions, man. And shout out to my, my boy Matt Lee and, and DC. I love when I see my, my my fellow peers participate in these questions. It's, 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 it's cool. It's funny. It's a good time. So, all right, we sliding on up, man. We're going to get a couple hours in over here on Center Hill before practice starts tomorrow on uh, on Lake Del Hollow, man. I'm excited about it. So we just wrapped up day one of practice. Back at the house, hanging out with the boys, watching a little college basketball, actually. Uh, but we're wrapping up the travel vlog. I appreciate y'all, especially with the questions, man. You know, y'all go to the IG, drop me the questions on there. Um, that's really cool. I know that takes time out of you guys' lives, so I appreciate that. But uh, wrapping it up, we got two more days to figure this thing out. You guys be sure to check out the practice vlog, which is going to drop after this. Um, it's going to be pretty interesting. And we shot a cool video yesterday for you guys as well. That's going to be dropping on the channel, so I hope you guys enjoyed that. Breaking down a new lake. So uh, that's it. We will see y'all live and direct here in just about a day and a half. Yeah, maybe two days. We're going to be kicking off uh, tournament time. So we got to find us some bass between now and then. Today was an okay day. Can't give y'all too much. You got to watch your practice vlog. I'll see y'all then. Like, subscribe, comment. Appreciate y'all.